Man, today's episode features a bottle I haven't ever reviewed yet. It's the Jim Beam Single Barrel, which is now 108 proof. Uh, actually, the last What's on the Shelf Wednesday episode of 2022. Freaking crazy how time flies, right? Anyway, this bottle used to be 95 proof and over 40 bucks. Now it's 108 proof and about 35 bucks, sometimes even cheaper. I've seen it at 25 bucks. Uh, not a lot of info on this, but someone said it's a nice, cheaper version of Booker's. Hmm, color me intrigued. It's What's on the Shelf Wednesday on the Mass and Drum. Welcome back to the Master and Drum, folks. I'm Jason C, and this is What's on the Shelf Wednesday, the series where I bring you quick reviews of whiskeys you can actually find on the shelf, including bourbons, rye, scotches, Irish whiskeys, and more. Today, we are trying this Jim Beam Single Barrel Bourbon, now at 108 proof, but before we do that, let's hear about today's video sponsor. Still need a last minute gift? Let's make a rye cocktail with shaker and spoon. Need a last minute gift for the holidays? Look no further than Shaker and Spoon, the must-have cocktail subscription that can teach anyone how to make high-end bar quality cocktails from recipes designed by award-winning mixologists. Every single box gets built around one singular spirit. It could be bourbon, rum, rye whiskey, and more. Each box includes all the ingredients other than the alcohol for about 12 cocktails, give or take. So you don't have to run to a bunch of different stores looking for the right ingredients for a cocktail that you might have read about. Now, whether it's you or someone you gift this to, Shaker and Spoon gives you these recipe cards in each and every box that guide you through crafting each cocktail step by step. Let's make a high end cocktail using rye whiskey, perfect for this time of year. Let's try a new spin on a cocktail icon with the Homestead Old Fashioned. All right, so I already have two ounces of my rye whiskey in the glass. All I have to do next is add some winter spice syrup. That sounds delicious. All right, so half ounce of winter spice syrup. Oh, that sounds, that smells amazing. Three dashes of black pepper bitters three dashes of orange bitters, and then mix. Add your ice to the glass, stir again. Now I gotta pour this over this big ice cube. Now I just gotta add a black cherry, and screw it, I'm using both cherries. I love cherries in my old fashioned. Then a quick spray of orange oil to finish it up. All right, let's try this thing. That is Christmas in the glass. Cinnamon clove, the orange is there, a little bit of the cherry. The black pepper gives it a nice spice. The rye whiskey comes through. That's delicious. All right, so how do you get these delicious cocktails from Shaker and Spoon crafted by award-winning mixologists? To get it, click the link below in the description and use the code MASHINDRUM at checkout for $20 off your first box. That's right, $20 off your first box. Makes a great gift for you or for someone you love. Thanks to Shaker and Spoon for sponsoring the Mash and Drum. This is, this is good. All right, so this bottle, according to the website, Jim Beam says, in a way, Barrels of bourbon are like snowflakes. No two are ever the same. Placement in our rack house, intensity of the seasons, length of aging, all these factors affects a barrel's unique flavors. Every once in a while, these factors come together to produce the perfect bourbon whiskey in one single barrel, a blessing of circumstances that occurs in fewer than 1% of all barrels. It is these and only these that are hand selected by our expert distillers to become Jim Beam single barrel. Then every bottle is individually labeled and hand numbered as a true testament to the unique flavor and profile of each and every batch. So single barrels, I mean, single barrels are what, you know, whiskey geeks love. We love to chase single barrels, store pick, something a little bit more unique, something maybe that's a little bit more off profile than what you usually find on the shelf from that same brand. So I do like the fact that Jim Beam does add the barrel number on the bottom, the information, mine is uh, JB00032488 in case any of you guys out there have that particular single barrel. So this is the original Jim Beam single barrel bottle that there used to be. It is now morphed to this. Uh, again, 95 proof. This actually seemed to be a little bit more expensive than the one we're gonna try today. Now this is a screw cap, give it a pour. So the proof on this I think is interesting, 108. Uh, one point higher than Baker's, which is 107 proof. Eight points higher than Knob Creek, which is 100 proof. Now this is an NAS, but it's said to be about five to six years old. Carries the classic 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley mash bill, but it's non-chill filtered, which is a kind of nice addition to the stats of this bottle. Like I said, 25 to 35 bucks. I've seen it for 25 at big box stores. So a great value from that standpoint. I mean, $25 for a single barrel bourbon, no matter what it is these days, is a pretty damn good value. But it's usually gears more towards 30 to 35 bucks at smaller stores. All right, so let's dive in. Somebody said a cheaper version of Booker's. Okay, all right, here we go. Interesting, on the nose, I could see 
a Booker's comparison a little bit. There is a really nice oak char, that like Jim Beam charred oak, a little bit of a smokiness you get. I mean, you can't say Jim Beam without the Jim Beam nuttiness. It's, it's all over this bourbon. There's a, it's not just caramel, it's like a salted caramel. There's something, I don't know, coming off very, a little salty in this. Salted caramel, I think that's, I think that's what it is. You know, obviously some nice vanilla too, but you get, generally with Jim Beam, not only did I get that nuttiness, but I get a lot of baking spices, usually like oak and, you know, cinnamon and clove that follow right after, so. It's, it's a pretty typical Jim Beam. Last one I'm getting here is that orange peel citrus, which is something I always get with Jim Beam. And I normally get it more with the old granddad bottles, especially old granddad bonded or old granddad 114. I get, a, I mean, that's a higher rye mash bill. So um, I think those tends to be a, just a little bit more citrusy, but I'm getting a hint of it here. So let's try it. Whoa, that thing. That thing ramped up quickly. I think the 108 proof of this gives it a really kind of this slow hug. <laughs> this slow Kentucky hug. Not like coming in, hey, what's up, man? Give me a nice quick hug, but like a you know slow motion hug. Kind of makes its way down, gives you, I think you feel it all in the chest here a little bit. But up front, it was pretty sweet. Um, not only did I get that nuttiness, but I got a lot of, again, more of that citrus, more like that salted caramel came through, but it was salted caramel and apple, a lot of apple on this. So second sip, yeah, the spice does kind of leave a little bit, but it, then it comes back on the back end of this. It's really <laughs> like, you know, I don't know, you expect a lower engine bean product to really kind of, you know, tame down a bit, but this doesn't. This keeps the oak, it keeps, there's there's a slight harshness to it. It's not overly harsh, but I think being a little bit youthful, 108 proof, is gonna give you a little bit more bite than something a little bit higher age, like if you were to compare this to like a Knob Creek, uh, which has a nine year age statement on it. You know, I think the non-chill filtering of this helps it a lot. Cause it's not overly thin like some of the other Jim Beam products that you find, like the bonded, Devil's Cut, some of those bottles, uh, even the Double Oaked, that again are super affordable, but you know, can be a little bit thin. This carries a little bit more weight to it, a little bit more heft. Is it great? No. Can it be considered a cheaper version of Booker's? I think that's a stretch. I could see, I could see some folks thinking that because there is some, you know, you're, you're looking maybe around the same age on some of that but the higher proof and where Booker's is aged, I think just gives it a whole nother profile compared to the other Jim Beam offerings. I like this way better at 25 than 35 to 40. Um, so if you see this at 25, you're a huge fan of the Jim Beam profile. I think this really falls in line with all of those that I mentioned earlier, the Double Oak, the Bonded, the uh, Devil's Cut, the Black, all of those bottles that people you know tend to go for in the Jim Beam lineup, but this, being 108 proof and non-chill filtered, I think there's a little bit more heft, there's a little bit more punch. I'm not gonna say it's a cheaper version of Booker's. I still think it's very far from Booker's. For a high proof variant, this is kinda nice. Now, you may be thinking, you know, why am I gonna buy this where I can get Old Granddad probably for cheaper? But Old Granddad is a different mash bill. Remember, Old Granddad carries 63 corn, 70, I'm sorry, 63 corn, 27 rye, and 10% malted barley for that mash bill. So you're gonna get a lot more citrus, a lot more of that rye spice in it. If you just wanna go on a higher proof, I think this drink's a little bit harsher than Baker's, you know, to be honest. Baker's, again, more expensive than this. Baker's usually runs about 60 to 70 bucks. So if you're looking through the lineup, you just want something a little bit more proofy at a cheaper price from Jim Beam, this is actually not a bad bottle. I, I kinda dig it. It's not bad at all. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review for the Jim Beam Single Barrel 108 Proof version. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments if you have had this before, if you've compared it to other Jim Beam uh, products. I'm going to have to put this in a blind against Old Granddad and uh, maybe Devil's Cut, maybe maybe throwing in an Op Creek and 
uh, old granddad 114 and see how it does. So that should be uh, coming up here in the new year. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Cheers, thanks for the support. And if I don't see you again, happy new year. Take care, everybody.